Boeing Cup has been going for 25 years and in that time it's crash tested hundreds of cars. I'm here with Matthew Avery from Thatcher and Research that undergoes all the testing for the UK. So Matthew, what can you tell us about the testing? Well, we do a mixture of passive testing, that sort of traditional crash testing, dummies and seatbelts and airbags, to look at the structure of the car and active safety testing. That's the new technology to help avoid a collision in the first place. That's radars and cameras. And to get a five star rating, you've got to have a good balance between active and passive safety. Now we've tested 66 cars this year, an amazing 50 of them all have a five star rating. So there's never been a better time to buy a safe car. There are some expensive cars here, especially some of the pure electric models. Does that mean people have to spend a lot of money to get a safe car? You're right, uh, some of the electric vehicles are very expensive, but we've got two here that are actually bucking the trend. So the MG4, that starts at about 26,000, and the new Aura Funky Cat behind you, that starts about 32,000. So they're much more affordable electric cars. They're both good performance, they're both five-star cars. But one of the best cars of the year is actually a small electric vehicle, and that's the Smart Hashtag One. Now that's got some of the best passive safety test figures that we've seen. And it's much more difficult for a small car to perform well in passive safety testing, simply because there's less metal there to absorb the energy of the crash. So again, there's more and more choice around having a small electric vehicle that's affordable. Some driver assistance systems, especially lane keeping support, has come in for a lot of criticism lately from owners and car reviewers for being overly intrusive. Are they really necessary and is there a good system? Well, lane support systems are really, really important. About 25% of all our killed and seriously injured come from crashes where a vehicle leaves the road and hits a tree or inadvertently crosses over the other side of the lane and hits oncoming traffic. So they're really, really important and they're a key part of our five-star Eurencap Active Safety Rating. Some of the systems are engineered to be less intelligent than they should be, they're just following the white lines and this leads to quite an assertive steering system but we're changing the ratings in 2023 to discourage those systems. But there are indeed some systems on the market today which are very, very good. And a good example is here on the Mercedes EQE that softly supports the vehicle to keep it in lane whilst keeping the driver engaged in the driving tasks. So some manufacturers today can do a good job with lane support. So what are the other driver assistance systems people should be looking out for on their next new car? Well, a good example is here on the Tesla Model Y. This has got a very good AEB system, Autonomous Emergency Braking. It uses cameras all around the vehicle to monitor the situation, make sure it can avoid pedestrians, cyclists and other vehicles. And this car had one of the very best scores we've seen in our driver assistance testing. The system also has a very good lane support system, so it's going to guide the vehicle gently around white lines. So again, the driver assistance on this vehicle is absolutely top notch. So what about self-driving cars? How far has that technology come? Well, we still don't have self-driving cars in the UK yet, but what we do have are vehicles with assisted driving systems that support the driver with the steering and the braking and the throttle. And these two vehicles have both got those systems, but the Mercedes EQE has got a very good system that supports the driver gently, but keeps the driver engaged. And driver engagement is the key part about keeping people safe. So now we've seen the latest technology in action, which one of these cars does everything well enough to be crowned the 2023 What Car Safety Award? Award winner? Well, we've got 55 star cars, but there's one car that really, really stands out, and that's the Tesla Model Y. It's got one of the highest scores we've ever seen for passive safety in the toughest test that we've ever done. It's got great active safety systems to support the driver to help prevent a collision in the first place. It's also got some other bits of innovation like over the air updates. So Tesla constantly improves the vehicle as it's sitting on your drive. And so there is no safer place to put your money or your family in 2023 than the Tesla Model Y.